If I get corona, I get corona. At the end of the day, I'm not going to let it stop me from partying. Contrary to popular belief, coronavirus does not spare the young. We're not really like at, like at risk of dying, necessarily. While older people and those with health problems are most at risk of dying, it doesn't mean that younger people are immune. And when you look at the 30 and 40 year olds who are dying, they don't have heart disease, they don't have diabetes, they don't have obvious risk factors. So it's a, there's a random element here. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, adults between 30 and 54 make up almost two-fifths of those being hospitalized in the United States, with 22% of those people under the age of 44. The fact is that nearly half of the most severe cases are younger than 65, and even children can become seriously ill. Many young adults from across the globe have taken the term low risk as a license to go about their daily lives as usual, but fail to realize that low risk doesn't mean there's no risk at all. Spring breakers in Florida are ignoring the pandemic and completely disregarding any warnings about social distancing. I just turned 21 this year, so I'm here to party, so it's kind of disappointing, but we're just making the most of it. We met these other people in our little Airbnb spot, so we're just hanging out with them and trying to get drunk before everything closes. While younger people generally have positive recovery rates, a worrying trend to ignore social distancing means the virus can spread to those facing a higher risk of serious illness or death. To all you young millennial assholes that keep going out and partying, go home. Stop killing old people, please.